Welcome to the channel Homo Sapiens, where we explore the rich and fascinating history of our world. From ancient civilizations to modern day societies, we'll delve deep into the people, places, and events that have made history. This is part two. Homo Sapiens has kept hidden disturbing secret. Not only do we possess an abundance of uncivilized cousins, once upon a time we had quite a few brothers and sisters as well. We are used to thinking about ourselves as the only humans, because for the last 10,000 years, our species has indeed been the only human species around. Yet the real meaning of the word human is, an animal belonging to the genus Homo, and there used to be many other species of this genus besides Homo sapiens. Humans first evolved in East Africa about 2.5 million years ago from an earlier genus of apes called Australopithecus, which means, southern ape. About 2 million years ago, some of these archaic men and women left their homeland to journey through and settle vast areas of North Africa, Europe and Asia. Since survival in the snowy forests of Northern Europe required different traits than those needed to stay alive in Indonesia's steaming jungles, human populations evolved in different humans in Europe and Western Asia evolved into Homo neanderthalensis, man from the Neander Valley, popularly referred to simply as Neanderthals. Neanderthals, bulkier and more muscular than us sapiens, were well adapted to the cold climate of Ice Age Western Eurasia. The more eastern regions of Asia were populated by Homo erectus, upright man, who survived there for close to two million years, making it the most durable human species ever. This record is unlikely to be broken even by our own species. It is doubtful whether Homo sapiens will still be around a thousand years from now, so two million years is really out of our league. In 2010 another lost sibling was rescued from oblivion, when scientists excavating the Denisova cave in Siberia discovered a fossilized finger bone. Genetic analysis proved that the finger belonged to a previously unknown human species, which was named Homo Denisova. Who knows how many lost relatives of ours are waiting to be discovered in other caves, on other islands, and in other climes. While these humans were evolving in Europe and Asia, evolution in East Africa did not stop. The cradle of humanity continued to nurture numerous new species, such as Homo rudolfensis, man from Lake Rudolf, Homo ergaster, working man, and eventually our own species, which we've immodestly named Homo sapiens, wise man. It's a common fallacy to envision these species as arranged in a straight line of descent, with Ergaster begetting Erectus, Erectus begetting the Neanderthals, and the Neanderthals evolving into us. This linear model gives the mistaken impression that at any particular moment only one type of human inhabited the Earth, and that all earlier species were merely older models of ourselves. The truth is that from about 2 million years ago until around 10,000 years ago, the world was home, at one and the same time, to several human species. And why not? Today there are many species of foxes, bears and pigs. The earth of a hundred millennia ago was walked by at least six different species of man.
as we will see in our next video, we sapiens have good reasons to repress the memory of our siblings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this.